Here are the five steps that you need to follow to start learning how to code in 2025. So step one, you wanna eliminate all distractions that are present in your work environment. Whether that means working somewhere that's more quiet or turning your phone on do not disturb, distractions are the one thing that's gonna make learning anything new twice as hard. Number two, you wanna follow a roadmap. When you're learning anything new, it's good to be able to follow a set of steps so that you know what you're meant to be learning next. But this is especially true when you're learning how to code. I spent weeks and weeks of time going down little rabbit holes, learning these little uh, unnecessary tools and tricks because I didn't have a proper roadmap to follow when I was learning how to code. Now there's so many tools available for this. I'll link some down in the description below. There's a great website called roadmap.sh, which recommends a bunch of different developer roadmaps, whether or not you wanna learn front end engineering, back end, or something entirely different. Number three, you wanna set achievable goals. Now it might sound great to try and become a front end engineer and start from zero and learn everything in three months, but by not setting achievable goals, you're gonna discourage yourself when you happen to miss one of the goals that you've set for yourself. What I'd recommend doing is, as you're going through these different languages and skills that you're learning, look up how long it took the average person to learn this language and use that as your starting point. If it took somebody two weeks to learn HTML, make that your starting point. And if you beat it, fantastic. And if you go a little bit longer, maybe consider what things you could optimize in order to make your learning a little bit more efficient. Number four, form a community around your learning. If you have a friend who who's interested in learning how to code, that's one of the best ways to keep yourself motivated. It's like having a gym buddy. The two of you will keep yourself accountable and make sure that you're doing what you need to do in order to meet your goal. So either try and find a friend who wants to go on this journey with you or see if there's a community in your local area that supports people who are also going on this coding journey. Or your community could even be here on YouTube. And the fifth thing that I recommend you do is code every single day. I know this might sound crazy, but think about it. Have you ever gone to work on Monday and you can't exactly remember what you were working on on Friday? Or you've just come back from a vacation and you spent maybe a week or two weeks off and now everything that you were doing before, it takes you a longer time to catch up on. The same thing is true when you're trying to learn something new and it's even more difficult because with your job, you're probably a bit of an expert in that field. But with coding, you're a novice, you're learning something new. So. Coding just a little bit every single day will keep it on your brain, will keep your brain on the subject. And I'm not saying that you need to code for two hours every day. You know, just try and code for five, 10, 15 minutes every single day. Try to follow a new lesson or build a small piece of a web page. Something that you can do in a concentrated amount of time. If you do have an hour to spend, fantastic. But even if you only have a few minutes of every day to spend, those few minutes every single day will help you retain that information as you go through your coding journey. And you'll make more progress doing a little bit of coding every day than you would if you had saved a whole bunch of hours and just did it all at the end of the month or something like that. If you're interested in learning how to code, check out that first link in the description below. 